Good morning from MWC 2025. I'm here together with Bruno Lacoste, CEO of Titanium. Hi, nice to meet you, Bruno. Nice to meet you, Akim. Nice to meet you all. MWC 2025. Titanium has been making waves in the telecom industry. Can you describe us what you're showcasing here? What are the highlights of this year's MWC? I mean, some of the highlights were going back to our, uh, our DNA, which is around flexibility and, uh, and um, the, the, the way we build software in a very flexible way. Um, seeking efficiency, which okay. is also one of our mojo, we're trying to really uh, always do things that have a meaningful impact for our customers, mm -hmm. their operations or their uh, routing or, or security solutions. Yeah. And um, this year we have an emphasis like most people on the technology, but we're looking at technology more like adding value, yeah. if you wish, in, in the technology where you're leveraging those tools for business value, customers and partners yeah. business value. Right. So, so when you look at the operator business, so what would be one of the main key takeaways from Titanium for their setup? A key takeaway from our operator business is I'm, I'm, I'm going to go back to the customization of a solution. Mm -hmm. and it's, With flexibility as yes, well. Yes, it's, it's, it's really the way the platform was designed mm -hmm. and the way we're trying to manage project. We're very flexible. We mm -hmm. use uh, modules and atoms on the technical side, yeah. but we also work a lot on integration, seamless integration, seamless operations of mm -hmm. the system. So they have the same look and feel, the same management for those different solutions we provide. Yeah. Uh, that's really the, the one of the most important thing we, did, we try to deliver to our um, to our base. Mm -hmm. So the telecom industry is undergoing a rapidly digital transformation process at the moment. I mean, we see it. If you compare it five years ago, what has changed massively? Massively, I think for the telco, the revolution. We always <laughs> talked about automation. The industry is been speaking about automation for years and and I think mean, now we're getting there. Mm. That, this is now and this is in progress. I still think it's going to take more years, but now we have the technology yeah. with, with cloud native, the way cloud native um, has been built and how it enables people to natively do automation of yeah. software lifecycle management, for instance, but yeah. not only operations mm. and maintenance. And you have those different forms of intelligence. Everybody talks about artificial intelligence. We, we like to talk about intelligence in general, yeah. but there's a lot more focus, human focus, on how to leverage mm -hmm. those techniques and tools yeah. to, the, to the advantage. Um, in Germany, we have this example where one of our customers where we're, we're working on their GitOps model. So it's all about operations, yeah. but it's designed to avoid yeah. doing night work, no more maintenance mm -hmm. work. Yeah. So the business value is there. And, and this transformation of the telco I think is there. I like to call it um, the smart telecommunications. <laughs> that's, that's a valid point. So operators are a massive construct and they often struggle of ba balancing legacy infrastructure and as a new innovations. So what is your take on that or Titanium's take on how operators can, let's say, change certain aspects of the infrastructure without any disruption? Is there anything where you specifically say, we are very much operator-centric from our solutions, so we know how to do that? Definitely, yeah, definitely. By design, in fact, mm. the, the way we've designed the software frameworks, we have two of them. It's really to enable this, this multi-generation support. Mm. And we are not locked in one infrastructure type or mm. one uh, technology. We're mm. also cultivating the spirit of, of supporting any any infrastructure. Yeah. We had a, a, a marketing communication last year. It was any, 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 any software on any infrastructure for any customer, any size of customer. So that's really by design what we do. And, and that it's the core of, of the, the way and the philosophy, and maybe even the core value at Titania. So we almost could say it's a tailor-made process. Definitely. Tailorization, customization is mm. everywhere on our, on our product. We have, people may not know that, but we have maybe 25 products off the shelf, but we've sold more than 200 different applications that are customized to mm. some customer needs. Mm. 200 is 10 times more than, than our portfolio Sorry. you can see on, on, on the screen here. Okay. So that's mm. really part of our DNA. So, you mentioned earlier it lays in your DNA to be flexible and to, to know how to answer to challenges. Do you also see the through your vast experience that you benefit from that? That do you have a let's say a less obstacle-filled learning curve? The 
the learning is almost um, inherent to doing customization. Like you have to work hand in hand with your customer. Yeah. You have to have this collaboration yeah. at a very high level because you you really need to understand what what this this unique problem you're solving for them. Yeah. So you have to drill down with them. So the collaborative approach is part of this process mm -hmm. and that's what I think what, what's been very good for Titanium because we learned so much from our customer base or partner base that mm -hmm. it was really um, a ton of um, like material but also a ton of uh, use cases we learned from. Mm -hmm. If you walk around here on MWC we, we hear a lot of buzzwords from AI or cloud security a lot of a lot of these topics are very broad and they not really have a real business model or it's very vague. So how, how do you act when the market demands such big changes or, 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 or big innovations and how do you transfer it into a real business model? Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, it's true. You walk here, you will see those buzzwords everywhere. Yeah. Well, you may see it a little here, but our approach is always the same. It has to has value, it has to have value for our own customer. Mm -hmm. So it's value adding or in business value. I talked about automation for operations, you can add predictive maintenance. Yeah. So those are some of the things we work on, like um, not, not just correct, it, correct a problem or react yeah. to a problem, but be capable of predicting it. Mm -hmm. Capacity, failure yeah. rate and so on. Yeah. You have also something that's a little bit more unique to Titanium. We're a real-time solution provider. Mm -hmm. Business critical real-time solutions is our, our core um, portfolio. And we're trying to leverage AI in real time, which is yeah. a bit different than maybe you hear from back-end big data processing, mm -hmm. back-end processing. It's slightly different. We need to do transactional intelligence mm -hmm. for smart routing or intelligent defense. And that, that is one thing we work really hard these days, prototyping and, and Again, any in hand with a customer. We don't do something if there is not a customer to, to work with us on it. So you actually equip the operator with a very agile system. Yeah, that's the spirit. Yeah, we're try really trying to make them uh, able to, to drive it. There's a lot of configurability, flexibility in the solution so that a lot of people do, they take it from us and then yeah. they run it by themselves. They are independent. They are not locked in with us yeah, in true. a way. Digital transformation, we, we just touched base earlier. It goes all around the world. We see it especially in emerging markets. We have such a big, big potential. And, and also from an econo uh, economical perspective for operators. So how are you adapting to regional challenges? The regional challenges, yeah, there's, there's a lot happening. Um, could be technical, different requirements. Could be legal, mm -hmm. legislations may differ. Um, could be also um, like what technology is available, how advanced or not, you know, the deployments can be in different regions. It's very heter heterogeneous. Mm -hmm. So we're going back to our basics. Yeah. We have two platforms. We built everything on top of, which yeah. we can support all those different customer size, different markets. You may know it, but we have already more than 180 customers around the globe in 80 countries. So we've been doing a lot of adaptations. So and you know the benchmark. I, I don't, you no, know, we cannot pretend we know yeah. everything, but I think we're, this flexibility helps us yeah. address different requirements, different markets. And the other thing is um, now, I think it's important to say it, you know, Titanium now is has found a home forever. That's the Lumin group, uh, a lot whirling around acquisitions they make. Yeah. And this is also something good, I think, for um, people working with us from emerging mm -hmm. market, because they can find a partner or a vendor that's maybe a little different than the bigger yeah, yeah, yeah. boys, the bigger yeah, yeah. companies, but with the certainty that this, this partner is going to be there for forever. Mm -hmm. It's not going to die or move away anytime soon. So this partnership is a big accelerator for you? Definitely, yes. There's right. no way we can serve the world with a company of our size directly. Right? So we need partners and alliances. Yeah. What's something about Titanium that people don't realize but should? Ah, uh, that's, that's, that's different angles to answer of this one. I think the one I like is this customization. It's, yeah. I think it's underestimated. It's something we don't necessarily uh, advocate that much. It's not necessarily very visible, but every time you buy something or you want to work with us, you know that anytime if you, if you have a problem, 
we can work around it. We will find a solution, and our solutions have been designed to allow that inherently. It's, it's native. You can add this piece of business logic that's unique to you yeah. on top of uh, an existing product. Yeah. And that is really a lot of value, I think, we underestimate. And that, that's, I think, something that's, that's been a, a, a good journey for titanium mm -hmm. customers, leveraging that to their advantage. Mm -hmm. And once they know it, they, they embrace it. They, they really like this, this flexibility. And so loyalty is given? Loyalty, yes, given. They, they, they know yeah. they can make things with us that yeah. might be a little harder with, with other solutions. And um, and yeah, once they understand again, it's, mm. it's the journey to their advantage. We talked earlier about the last five years. So let's turn it around. How, what is your expectation for the next five years? What, what is the one thing you would like to achieve and would like to be recognized for? For the next five years, Titanium is going to continue to focus on collaboration, but I, I feel personally, and I think the, the management yeah. team at Titanium as well, is we will go toward this, this um, world where the telecommunication operations are going to transform massively. Yeah. And we want to be part of that. Mm -hmm. We want to be an actor in the transformation of operations and maintenance of the telecom. Yeah. Business critical, highly scalable, low latency mm -hmm. solution, that's what we're supposed to deal with. And sometimes it's hard to manage changes around it. It could be software, it could be configuration, it could be data. All those changes have been a source of hiccups, of downtime, of, of challenges. This is going to go away. And Titanium is going to be able to make sure this happens. Like, it's going to be zero touch operation, intelligent routing, intelligent defense, integrated, yeah. leveraging those techniques. That's, I think, the transformation we want to go after. Mm -hmm. That's the one I think we, we will see in the next five years. So it's still a future-proof, centric approach. Definitely, yes. Right. This, this, yeah. There's no cool. way around. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Hank. There was Tech Africa News from MWC 2025. You can find more on techafricanews.com.